watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Yay! Welcome to Mr. Pop's Neighborhood. Welcome to Mr. Pop's Neighborhood, where everything is all good in our hood. No gang violence. No gang violence. No bullying. No bullying. No drug selling. No drug selling. No peer pressure. No peer pressure. We accept authority. We accept authority. And education is first. And education is first. How are you all today? Good. Guess what our topic is going to be today? What? Do you know your future? Do you know your future? Yes. yes. Isn't, that a, isn't that a beautiful subject? Yes. yes. Because each and every one of y'all should know your future already. Correct. And each and every one of y'all should have a short-term goal and a long-term goal. And each and every one of y'all have the ability to encourage one another. Now, do anybody know what a short-term goal is? Yes. What is a short-term goal? A short-term goal. It's something that you're trying to accomplish at the moment? Correct. Give her a hand. Dante. Yes. What is your definition of a short-term goal? Definition of a short-term short goal is something that you're trying to come do, well, something that you're trying to complete now and then it will affect your long-term goal. Amber. Yes. Do you know the definition of a short-term goal? Yes. Yes, something that you want to accomplish now. So. Khadija. Yes. Do you know the definition of a short-term goal? Yes. Something that you're trying to accomplish at the moment. Do you all know the difference between a long-term goal, Dante? Well, yes. Um, a long-term goal is something that you're trying to um, do a while from now, but you still want to accomplish it. You know the, the definition of a long-term goal? Yes. What is it? It's something that you're trying to do after you accomplish your short-term goal, like college or something. How about you, Amber? Go ahead. How about it's you, Amber? something that you want to do in the future, but you want to work on it now. So when it comes in the future, like you can already know what to expect. Khadija? Yes. Khadija? Something that you're trying to accomplish after your short-term goal in the future. Let me explain something to you all. What grade are you in, Dante? Six. What grade are you in, Deja? Eleven. What grade are you in, Amber? Ninth. What grade are you in, Khadija? Ninth. A short-term goal is what you all should be trying to accomplish at this very present moment, and that is to graduate from high school. Your long-term goal is what you want to establish in the future after you graduate from high school. If college is your interest, that's a long-term goal. If going to the military, Whatever you feel that you want to accomplish after high school is considered your long-term goal. Once you accomplish that, it develops into your career on what you feel comfortable about doing for the rest of your life. And I don't want you all to wait and think about a long-term goal later. I want you to put an interest to what you want to do at this present moment. If, for instance, what is your long-term goal, Dante? What would you like to be? Mm, my long-term goal is to get out of college and get into sports. What type of sports? Football, uh, yeah. When you say get into it, in terms of what? Is to play the sport and actually be good at it. Now, 
Everything you should be doing in this present moment should be associated with your long-term goal. You should be researching, reading books, looking at footage. Everything you want to do later on, you have to make an interest and put that forth now. You understand it? Yes. Everything you do now should be associated with what you want to do in the future so you'll be ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. You understand yeah. it? Yes. How about you, Dave? I want to be a neonatal nurse. Neonatal nurse? Yes. Whatever your long-term goal is, focus on it now. And there's going to be some sacrifices to be made. And the sacrifices are your friends going to want to hang out. Your friends want to call you while you're studying. They're going to have other things that they want to do, but you got to be able to say to them, look, right now I'm focusing on my career. I'm trying to gather up research, get as much information I can pertaining to this. Y'all understand that? Yes. yes. So what I want you to do, Deja, is try to talk to some nurses, get on your computer, do some research, go to the library, try to find old information, current information, and try to find research information that you find a lot of doctors and scientists doing research now. Mm -hmm. Try to get as much information you can pertaining to that so when you be well-rounded. You understand that? Yep. And I know you can do it because guess what? The interest is there. See, one thing about it, you done made up your mind what you want to be. That's a major step right there. Y'all understand that? Yes. Once you make up your mind what you want to be, that's a major step right there. How about you, Amber? What do you want to be? A physical therapist for the MBA. Really? Yes. What are you doing pertaining to that now? I read some books, not a lot though. I want you to read as much information you can pertaining to that. I want you to do as much extensive research you can pertaining to that because I want you to be well-rounded, I want you to be well-equipped, and I want you to be ready for any task that's associated with what your goals are. I want you to do that, and you can do it. You know that, right? Yes. Because the most difficult part was that you already made the decision. So now everything else is smooth sailing. You all understand that? Yes. How about you, Khadija? A pediatrician. Really? <laughs> Yes. Are you researching it now? A little bit. I want you to do a lot of research. Okay. Because you know why? Medical research, things change daily. I want you to be well-rounded and well-equipped. So as much information you get pertaining to that, I want you to read it, research it, and get a full understanding. Okay? All right. And you can do it, too. Because you know I know you can do it? Because you done made a decision to do it. Okay. And you know what? I want you all to always be involved in your decision-making process. Take as much control as you can on what you want to do, what your interests are. You all understand that? Yes. And guess what? You can do it. Do you know your future? Yes. yes. Say it proudly. Yes. I know my future. And you're not going to accept no distraction, right? No peer pressure. No peer pressure. You know what peer pressure is, Dante? Yes. What's your definition of peer pressure? Um, when you're trying to um, get somebody to do something and they don't know whether to do it or not. That's right. And how do you handle peer pressure? I, um, I try to ignore it and keep doing what I'm doing. That's right. Give them a hand. <laughs> how about you, Deja? How do you handle peer pressure? Um... I don't really have peer pressure, but if I did, I wouldn't follow it because I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. Peer pressure will come up. You always have a friend that will try to distract you for what you're doing. And a lot of times they do it out of jealousy. Do y'all know that? Yes. yes. A lot of times they so-called friends don't want to see you accomplish something, don't want to see you be something. You know why? why? Because they made up in their mind they don't want to be nothing. And you know what? People have a tendency of calling you a square, calling you a herb, calling you a lane. That's part of peer pressure, too. All it does is to try to get you to change your mind and say, well, if I join in with them, I'll be a part of what they're doing. They won't call me names. They won't tease me. And you know what? A lot of times, peer pressure happens 
when you were around a lot of other people, like during the cafeteria, standing at your locker, on the school bus, standing at the school bus stop. That's a lot of time when peer pressure happens because people want to get you in a crowd where they can try to make you feel small. But you all know you all bigger than that, correct? Yes. Now I want to ask you all a serious question and I want a serious answer. You already told me about your short-term goal, long-term goal, correct? Yes. Have you all decided what college y'all want to attend? Yes. Yes. No, not yet. How y'all saying that? Um, Go ahead. I want to attend St. Joseph, and my backup college is University of New Haven. Why'd you pick those two colleges? Because they have nursing and they have volleyball, and that's things that I enjoy doing. So. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now, having that shown that she showed, she's been doing some research, correct? Yes. yes. Researching on what college, and the main thing she said was, because they have a great program with what you associate with doing, correct? Yes. So that means you did some extensive research. Yes. So how's your grades looking? My grades are good. It's, they're, good. they're better this year than freshman year. How about you, Amber? Have you decided what college you want to attend? Yes. Which, what college? Spelman University. Spelman? Yes. That's in Atlanta? Yep. What are you going to major in? Um, medical and sports. Really? Yes. So you don't apply, not apply, but you don't got some brochures and literature and information from the college? Yes. How about you, Kadeem? I haven't decided yet. But you think about it? Yes. Okay. Amber? Yes. As a friend, if you see any colleges or if you know of any colleges you think that would be helpful pertaining to what she want to do, would you provide her with that information, your passing information on? Yes. As a friend, that's what we do in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, correct? Yes. yes. We're going to encourage one another, right? Yes. yes. We want to see everybody, what? accomplish their yeah. goals, correct? And do good. Yes. yes. And do good, right? Mm-hmm. That's what makes the neighborhood what? Good. Good, right? Yes. A better neighborhood, right? Yes. And we'll be a role model to other neighborhoods, right? Yes. yes. So we're going to encourage one another, correct? Yes. And speaking of encouraging, I want you all to hear and I want you to see this new artist that's coming out. He go by the name of Rugavelli. He don't talk about anything disgraced. He don't even down low, he does not disgrace women. He don't talk about anything but educational things. And I want y'all to hear this artist, okay? okay. And tell me what y'all think about him, okay? Okay. okay. His name is Rosa Valley. All right. Yeah. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dreams, follow your dreams. Achieve your goals, achieve your goals. And relate to me, and relate to young people. Go to school. Go to school, follow your dream, follow your dreams, achieve the goals, achieve the goals, and relate to me, and relate to me. I do this for the kids, so finish school and pump your mind full of knowledge like you're in the tube, and graduated, go to college, what I'm giving you. Streets trying to give you gang violence, drug dealing too. Listen up to me, kids, don't let it get into you. All I do is get you stabbed and shot, family missing you. You can even ask my mental pop, the streets is pitiful. He's been through the rough times, what I'm trying to spit to you. Don't sell drugs or in the streets claiming sex. Be well above and you can rearrange your rep from young to educated, young and very bravest. Do something with your life, I know you can make it. Your brain and memory card, I know you can save it. I just want to say big ups to my cousin David. We a powerful movement. We the world's greatest. We a powerful movement. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dream, follow your dream. Achieve the goals, achieve the goals. And relate to me, and relate to young people. Go to school, go to school. Follow your dream. Follow your dreams, achieve your goals, achieve your goals, and relate to me, and relate to me, yeah. Ruga Valley, it's best to for the kids right here. Go to school and get that education. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Yeah. How do y'all like that artist? It was good. Now, we left off on encouragement. 
Dante, give me a definition of encouragement. My, encur um, my definition of saying encouragement is helping others to do something and accomplish something. I'm proud of you, Dante. Deja, what's your definition of encouragement? My definition of encouragement is helping somebody out in any kind of way, whether they're down or need help in school, but to be a friend and be there for them and let them know that you're around for them. Yeah. Oh. Amber, <clears throat> what's your definition of encouragement? To push someone, um, someone that either you care about or not even that, you may not even know them but you see them struggling, or you see them trying, and you just want to lend a hand. Khadija? Yes. What's your definition of encouragement? To help somebody keep their head high, no matter what, as a friend. I want to let you all know I'm very, very proud of each and every one of you all, because each and every one of you all have a positive message that's going to go out to other people that's the same age you all are, and when they see that you all are encouraging one another, that have a tendency to make them feel like they should be encouraging to other people and also encouraging yourself. You know the most helpful thing is? To encourage yourself by telling yourself you can do it no matter what and you will be just what you put your mind to be in. Do you all understand that? Yes. yes. And I'm proud of you all. Thank you. I'm very proud of you all. And I want for most of all, are you proud of yourself? Yes. That's self-encouragement. Say self-encouragement. Self-encouragement. We don't discourage in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, right? Right. We encourage, correct? Yes. We want to see everybody be somebody, correct? Yes. We want to see everybody accomplish their short-term goals as well as their long-term goals, right? Yes. yes. And that makes the hood what? Good. Mr. Mr. Pop's, Pop's neighborhood. neighborhood. All good, right? Yes. yes. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for taking time out to come to Mr. Pop's neighborhood. And I hope that y'all come back soon again. You're welcome. Yeah, you're All welcome. Right.